Malcolm, he seemed to make a statement. Uh, great win. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of something like it, you know, kind of have flashbacks of my high school days. Uh, I think uh, really it all started with me getting on the free throw line. You know, um, all, my, all the coaches that coach me, you know, especially my AAU coach, he always tells me, you know, a lot of great score, like a lot of great games, high scoring games comes from when people shoot a lot of free throws, and I think that got me going early. Well, Malcolm, uh, the three-point shooting maybe in the second half to – did you feel like thing you're just maybe shooting better, you know, from distance than you have in a while? Uh, if you're including like official games, yeah. You know, I wasn't, you know, I was shooting like 30% last year, but I mean, it's just something that I've been uh, working really hard on in the summer, you know, and I have the trust and confidence from my teammates and especially my coaching staff. You know, there's been times where they've been mad that I haven't shot, you know, certain threes that I passed up on, so. I think this is just one of those games that has just showed, you know, a lot of the hard work and dedication I put into working on my three-point shot. I guess for, for Michael or Jalen, did you guys feed off of Malcolm as he kind of got going there in the second half? Yeah, it's kind of hard not to. Uh, our, our energy was down in the first half, and Coach Gross challenged us, and we all kind of challenged each other at halftime just to pick it up. And Malcolm, I mean, brought the energy, and we all just kind of fed off of it, just mostly even from the defensive end. Like, you could just tell it was like a different – an approach, so I think we definitely build it off of that. Malcolm, did you feel a, a, a sense over here? Did you feel a sense of urgency to maybe take over the game? Offense wasn't flowing very well, and the defense struggled at times. Did you feel like you needed to take over the game? Um, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'll take responsibility in the first half of a starting slow, because uh, um, the coaches always say uh, uh, I gotta learn how to set the tone with my actions. You know, I think I came out in the second half, you know, much more aggressive and dedicated on the defensive end. You know, that even start that's how I even get my offense going, you know, when I get a kick start on the defensive end. Here in the middle and back here. Go ahead, right here first. Uh, this could be for Jalen or Michael. Just what did you guys think of the supporting cast in general? Because obviously Malcolm had a great game. Um, I think everybody who came in the game brought a lot of energy and um uh, you know, like we said in the first half, we weren't playing our type of basketball, especially on the defensive end. That's where we got our toughness from and get going. I think second half we brought that on the defensive end, and then once Malcolm got going, everybody just fed off of that. And um, everybody who played pretty much brought energy and and brought some toughness today in the game. Back here in the second row. Michael, can you talk about the defense, um, what you guys can do to stop the penetration from the other team, and how much will LeBron help or LeBron help that whenever he comes back? Yeah, uh, we just got to guard our yard better, keep the ball in front. Uh, I thought we did a little better with that, especially in the second half, but we just it's more mental, just have a better uh, better approach with that. I mean, LeBron's just he's an animal out there. Uh, he's going to play hard, and I mean, just his mental approach out there will just he'll, he'll get it done. So having him out there will definitely help us. I guess for Jalen, I'm looking at only 10 assists for the game as a team total, but only nine turnovers. What do you think about that stat line? Um, well, well, we know uh, Hill um, was going, so I mean, we, we we were trying to get him some good shots, and you know, we know he's really good when he has the ball in his hand, so we kind of fed off of that. Um, you know, also we didn't make a lot of shots today too. We had some good open shots that we just didn't make. So, uh, but I'm glad we uh, did pretty good with keeping the turnovers down. Because in the previous couple of games we had high turnovers, which is not like us. And we did a lot better with that today, knowing that they are a pressing team. So, Jalen, talk about uh, defense. You played a lot of zone the other day, uh, much less today. How, was the man to man better today? Um. Yeah, I guess both worked out for us in, in certain situations. Um, we got to be able to be a team that can play both and be good at both. And I think um, in today's game, we just were better at man today, especially with their personnel. 
Malcolm, a lot of seemed like you had a lot of isolation plays. You know, once you got it going, were, were you trying to get that? You know, with with your offensive sets, or that just come natural? What what was the plan there? Um, I think it just came naturally, uh, especially. Um, I think a lot of my isolation plays were, you know, short, late shot clock. You know, just the way I was feeling. You know, I just I thought I could be able to get a good shot for the team you know, during those isolation plays. Michael, um, you're rebounding. I mean, 11 rebounds, uh, four offensive rebounds, a couple putbacks. Talk about your uh, maturation as a, you know, as a rebounder, physically getting stronger and things like that. Yeah, I'd say uh, that was definitely something I wanted to improve on this year. Uh, to be honest, going up against Laurent every day in practice just challenges me and makes me better in that, in those regards. Even if sometimes it may not seem like in practice I'm getting as much as because he's in there, uh, it still pushed me in boxing out, trying to box out more, going to the boards even more. So I really credit him a lot for that. And uh, so I'm just happy to fall my way too with that. So just kind of keep going to the boards. Malcolm, um, it's, is defense a, a biggest concern for you guys right now? Some op more open looks tonight and uh, some in open lanes. Is that the biggest concern right now? You got rebounded tonight as well. Those are probably your two biggest concerns. Yeah, that's, that's always been our biggest concern because we have no concerns on the offensive end. I think that won't be a problem for us this year. Um, we just have to learn how, um, since we have so many great offensive players, we have to make sure that, you know, everybody's a great defensive player too, um, one through five. And they, they got it going early. And I think in the second half, we really stepped it up because uh, we figured out if we don't defend, uh, you know, we're not going to win a lot of games. Any final questions for the players? Um, I like to make one statement. Uh, way back during my skinny days of uh, high school, a uh, late friend of mine, uh, he promised me to um, score 40 points for him and passed away from cancer. Many of you don't know, it's my friend Jeremiah Radford. That's why I wear uh, number 21 jersey. And um, the Radfords, if, you, if you're watching this right now, this one's for you guys. All right, thank you.